Okay, so welcome to Math Storia. Yeah? And in solving rational equations, so first we need to find the LCD of the given denominators. So that's the least common denominator. So for this given rational equations and the denominators are 10, 5, and 2. So we have 10, 5, and 2. So to find the LCD, we just need to find the smallest number that is divisible by 10, divisible by 5, and divisible by 2. So in this case, we can have 10 because 10 is divisible by 10 and 10 is divisible by 5 and also 10 is divisible by 2. So multiply this LCD to every terms. So we have now 10 times x over 10 plus 10 times 3x over 5 then equals 10 times negative 7 over 2. Then simplify. So for this term, we can cancel this 10. So we have x. Then plus for this term, so 5 and 10, this one is 2. Then 2 times 3x, this one is 6x. Then equals this 10 and 2. So this one is 5. And 5 times negative 7, that's negative 35. Then simplify, so this x plus 6x, so this one is 1. So 1 plus 6, that's 7, so we have 7x equals negative 35. And to solve for x, so divide both sides by 7, cancel. So, therefore, x is equal to, so this negative 35 divided by 7, that's negative 5. So, this is now the solution of this rational equation. Then, for this given, so first, we need to find the least common denominator. So, for the number, that's 4 and 3. So, 4 and 3. Then, we need to find a number or the smallest number that is divisible by 4 and 3. So, if that one is 6, so 6 is not divisible by 4. So, therefore, 6 is not the LCD. Then, if we try 8, so 8 is not divisible by 3. So, if this one is 12, so 12 is divisible by 4 and 12 is divisible by 3. So therefore, for these denominators, the LCD is positive 12. But since we have this variable x, so therefore the LCD is 12x. Then multiply this LCD to every terms. So this becomes... 12x times 2 over x, then minus 12x times 3 over 4x, then equals 12x times 1 over 3. Then simplify. So for this term, we can cancel this x. So we have now this 12 times 2. That's 24. Then minus, so for this term, cancel this x. And 4 and 12, so this one is 3. Then negative 3 times 3, that's negative 9. Then equals, so for this 3 and 12, so cancel and this 12 becomes 4 because 12 divided by 3, that's 4. So we have now this 4x times 1. 
So, equals for x, then simplify. So, this 24 minus 9, that's 15. Then equals for x. Then to solve for x, so divide both sides by 4. So, therefore, x equals to 15 over 4. So, this is now the solution of these rational equations.